Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? My name is the 9 and I'm the man with black privilege. And with this video here, we're going to be talking about uh, Anthem again and the uh, the new story trailer that they let out and uh, also the live stream, which I think uh, came out yesterday, maybe the day before. And uh, with this one here, um, I guess it's explaining the uh, maybe either the order that you're in <laughs> or the uh, maybe within the the people who protect the city, the people who wear the mech suits and everything. Maybe this is like a, an order within those group of people. Either one of the two. Uh, they didn't really explain. It was pretty much uh, promoting uh, some pre-order armor sets and a gun and things like that. And um, we're going to show it on screen here so you guys see what I'm talking about. So uh, this basically broke down, I guess, these groups or the order. I forget they're called the Legion of something. I forget. And uh, they basically had a last stand against whatever's attacking the city. And uh, they kind of revere this this one woman who, you know, put her foot down and held, you know, held this, uh, this you know, during this battle and everything. It kind of reminds me of this book that I read um, a couple years back. I think it was, what was it called? The Iron Dragoons or something like that, where they had an order that was similar where, of people wearing mech suits doing that kind of sort of thing. But um, it just explained like, oh, like here, like here's this order of people. They were in this battle. This one woman kind of held the line. And if you want to look like her, pre-order the Legion of, I think it was like the Legion of Dawn, uh, you know, pre-order bonus, you know, package, whatever they got. <laughs> uh, but uh, it looked pretty cool. It has me hopeful. It, it, it reminds me of how Destiny had the Titans, you know, and some of the stuff they would do, or maybe the, uh, the Stormbreakers how you had a group of people that, you know, that in Destiny's case was Guardians. And then you had other groups that was within um, those group of people. So it's not just all just random civilians wearing mech armor and things like that. So um, it kind of makes me think that, that they may put other people in the game like that too. Cause I mean, if you got different factions of people or different hell, different types of people, um, you know, just like we do in real life. Uh, you have different classes in a game. So you have different armors for people who like to do, you know, whatever it is that each armor set can do. And it's one of those things where not everybody's gonna pick the same thing. So why have different classes if you don't have different factions? So it's it's kind of, you know, everybody will be wearing like, uh, it will be like how, um, how Bungie did with, uh, well, not in a small, I guess, I guess you could say Bungie, technically, I mean, like, if I had to take it all the way to the top, you could, you could see how Bungie did it with the Halo armor, like, in the story of Halo, when Halsey developed the, uh, uh, the Mark V armor, you know, the one that Master Chief wears, they didn't make, oh, uh, well, let's make one that's this tall, let's make, uh, let's make one that's this tall, because everybody's different, right, you know, everybody don't have the same body type, so they was like, look, that's gonna cost us too much money. So what they did is they made one suit and then made the people to fit in it. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> so if that was the way of um, uh, that the people who developed the mech suits and everything behind Anthem were thinking, then why would they build different suits of armor? You know, they would all be the generic Ranger armor or something like that. So it kind of makes a whole lot of sense as far as breaking up different armors and different factions and everything. So, but the trailer looks good. Um, it's one of those things where EA is definitely putting the money behind it. And that's kind of what's growing my assurance with it and uh, getting me uh, interested in the game is that you can see that they're putting the time and the effort in, or at least trying to make that appear to be so, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, they know they fucked up. They took a couple hits and they're trying not to get that strike three. Uh, that's the only reason why I'm, I'm not, you know, not looking at Anthem, you know, otherwise I'll be like, well, well, fuck that. I'm not buying it because I know EA gonna fuck it up, but they've, they, you know, they fucked up twice. They fucked up with Battlefront 2. They fucked up with Mass Effect. And now we got Anthem up the bat and it's like, okay, well, we got to do something because, you know, we can't have all of our games fucking up. And especially if they want this one to be their new destiny and, you know, all puns intended <laughs> and uh you know this is gonna be like their new franchise their new um 
the what's the term that they use whenever they describe games like this um ah uh, i just thought of it the other day and just completely forgot about it now but it's like the term that they use for uh open-ended games like destiny the division uh that kind of sort of you know things that uh those ongoing experience type games that don't ever have like a, a beginning middle and a and just an end point you know it's um the term they use for games like that so um uh, but also uh they also during the live session during the stream i'm guessing it was stream uh because it was saying live and stuff on there as you guys can probably see from the video um they basically broke down how the weapon systems and how the game kind of sort of functions as far as uh the weapons the things you can put on them uh if they were going to have different roles like kind of how destiny does with their guns and that kind of sort of thing or uh well how destiny used to do things with their guns i should say and um i'm liking what i'm hearing youtube it's they're putting the effort into making a good system um something that i think the destiny people should have been did but <laughs> uh we won't know until how it comes out and see what the community uh uh kind of does with it but um from what i'm hearing about it it looks pretty solid it, it's it's looking like they're trying to put together a a destiny like tier system but have tons of workarounds and builds and different ways you can manipulate that to kind of push things forward and to make unique builds or to do whatever it is that you want to do let's say like um if i wanted to make a build that was flying around throwing grenades that would let's say give me increased damage per grenade or uh, i think one of the guys was talking about throwing down an item or a grenade that would blow up and anybody who would get hit by that grenade the more people that were hit would increase his recharge for his grenades or for his hover time and other abilities and stuff like that so it, it it's like if they're introducing a lot of things like that then you can really or what i'm hoping is you can tailor make your builds to suit uh not only your play style but you can change your builds around her mission so you can be let's say if this mission's gonna have this kind of enemy or you're you want to be the guy that's throwing explosives or throwing missiles if you want to be that heavy guy you can do that you just gotta switch your stuff around if you want to be the guy that's gonna hover around and shoot uh your assault rifle and be like a marksman you can do that too um so if they they're gonna have builds where you can tailor your weapons and your your suit specifically to certain uh actions kind of like how rpgs do a lot of stuff and and, and that's what's really you know selling me on it. it 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 reminds me of um how you have different builds in rpgs to where you have everything about your build dedicated to one specific thing let's say like dps or uh having more mana or having more health or whatever the case may be so you have you're really good in that one specific area whereas um rather than like having let's say like destiny how everybody is the same across the board but you can tweak it here and there to make it you know to make you stand out in one little thing or like you know like a percentage or two up or below whatever the baseline is but at the same everybody's like the same fucking baseline and that's one thing i hated about destiny um whereas in this i don't think it's gonna be like that i think everybody's gonna be the same let's say type meaning if you are a ranger you're a ranger if you're a heavy guy you're a heavy guy but one guy's heavy guy may be specialized towards explosives and getting his cooldowns back quicker versus the other guy may be, oh, I want my explosions to do more damage. And um, the more variations and the more pieces that they put into that, the more people can quiet phone, but the more people can spec into doing various different things and become specialists in the heavy guy or the ranger or the one that flies around and that kind of sort of thing um i think it'll be better for it they also showed a little bit of the customization options and stuff like that too um uh, still really liking that um i'm liking the way the menus look um everything has that kind of high-tech futuristic hud feel to it so um i know i'm definitely gonna get my iron man on once the game drops just saying that's the first thing i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna take that original uh ranger looking at um the ranger mech <laughs> i gotta figure out which one i'm gonna main but i know i want to get that ranger mech and do like an iron man theme on it i have to <laughs> just so i can fly around i bet you everybody's probably gonna probably gonna be doing that but anyways guys i just wanted to give a little bit of opinions and thoughts on the new uh trailer here in the stream and um i may do another video tomorrow talking about it i know this is just 
my uh, my first initial impressions after checking it out. I watched it like two days ago, so my mind isn't fresh with it. <laughs> but I may put out another video tomorrow if you guys like this one here and uh, go you know go full in depth with it. Where you know we could probably watch it and I can pick and you know pick things out, kind of like how I did with the uh, Cyberpunk 2077 video. Um, I like that, and that did seem to uh, bring in a few of you guys. So, but anyways, that's my thoughts on uh, the trailer here. My name is Dananu, and I'm the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.